<laughs> my kids made this uh, mask using the paper towel hi guys welcome to my channel i hope you're doing well here in italy not so good <laughs> because i'm very sure some of you know that now the whole of italy is a red zone and we are all in a mandatory um, quarantine and mandatory quarantine means no going out unless you have something important to do and that is going to work uh, going for grocery shopping family emergencies or uh, going to the pharmacy to buy a uh, medicine if you're going to the grocery shopping you need to go only one family member like now stefano cannot put the kids in the car and me and we go grocery shopping together only one family member and you need to have a proof maybe you're coming back from the supermarket you need to keep the receipt so that if the police stops you at least you can give them and say yes i was at the supermarket and i bought this and that for whatever reason you're out there without um any of those four reasons that i've said you risk being arrested you risk being prosecuted by the court of law under article 650 <laughs> guys i am so informed in these things and if by any chance you are out you need to carry this uh, form this is an um self-declaration form where you say me uh, blah 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 born in blah 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 uh, resident at blah 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 I am out for this reason. If the police stop you and you have this, as you can see here, here you have your uh, own signature and this one will be, for, the police will have to sign here. And the police can even call uh, your employer to ask if uh, Liz uh, for sure was at work today at a certain time, blah, blah, blah. And why did the government do this? In the beginning when the government was like now, the whole of Italy is a red zone and it's going to be mandatory quarantine. Some people, you know, those people who are like, mm, no, no, wala vichwangumu. Some of them were doing whatever they wanted. So the government was like, okay, you want to play with us? Eh? We will hit you where it hurts. So they were like, you will be fined, you will be arrested, or you can be prosecuted if you don't follow these uh, rules. And why is that? Because the government realized that this coronavirus kept spreading by the way my children now they don't even go to their grandmother's house even if she lives only one kilometer away from here why because this thing is affecting mostly old people the victims of coronavirus here in italy are mostly old people as we all know their immune system is um, low so even our kids uh are talking to their grandma through the video calls like what's up she calls every day they talk because like my father-in-law has heart problems so uh with um this kind of a uh, situation is better to stay away we will see them when the whole situation is done US really has not been going to work too for the past five days and my dears it is so hard <laughs> Being that I had a routine where I could go to work uh, up to a certain time and then come back. Now being at home the whole day with them kids. Oh my God. <laughs> the first two days I was depressed. Like I would just wake up, shower, brush my teeth and then stay with the pyjama the whole day. <laughs> because I was like, what am I going to do with myself? And I'm at home because our company being that uh, it deals with printing and uh, we depend on paper that usually used to be delivered from the northern part of Italy, Milan, those sides. Now that the country is on a mandatory uh, quarantine, the, the companies, most companies have closed. So the department where I was working at, most of the people, they decided just to stay at home. And thank God at least the government has put some money aside to pay us people who are at home because of this um, coronavirus thing work. so i've decided to be doing uh, some fun stuff with my kids taking like a stroll around the neighborhood uh, with their bikes playing behind our house in the backyard uh, doing a lot of diys with them helping them with homework because uh, the kids are getting homework through uh, the email from the teachers and sometimes they will do um video conference with the teacher so at least in that way i thank my um my kids teacher so much they are doing the best 
to not let these kids be idle. At the same time, I want to thank all the nurses, I want to thank all the doctors because they are working really hard. When us people, we are at home, a doctor cannot stay at home because they need to go and save lives. And I thank everyone who is that in that profession because they are risking their lives for us. And speaking of DIY, me and my kids, we made some um, mask using napkins. Yes, paper napkins. Or are they called paper towels? Yes, as you can see, you can even rip it. We used these uh, rubber bands. <laughs> yes and the good thing about these ones you can just use them and throw them away and make a new one like see mm. <laughs> these uh, rubber bands you you put them around your earlobes and uh, voila you got yourself a mask and i'm seeing some people making masks using old uh, braziers brass but as we decided to use this paper towels yes and like this one that i was using at work and i'm sorry guys as you can see it has lipstick on <laughs> stephan was like girl are you crazy what are you doing with the, a mask and some lipstick on <laughs> so this was my mask when i was at work anyway i saw that uh, finally coronavirus is in kenya and i'm so sad and i'm so um praying for my country because uh, i've seen how this coronavirus has affected italy italy in so many many different levels economically socially economically because now most businesses are closed like ours we are not making money like we used to socially now we are staying a distance from each other like i've said my children cannot even go to their grandma's house and um, their friends cannot even come to play out here the way you used to do like a few weeks ago. There's a big park in front of my house where all the children in this area would, would come in the afternoon. From 2 to 6, they would run all over the place. It's one week that my children have not seen their friends. So another thing I heard that coronavirus has finally hit Kenya. And this thing has really saddened me a lot. But uh, I'm seeing that the government is really trying. I've seen that they have closed all the schools. They have prohibited all public gatherings. And if you have old people like me, my mother, she lives in Mashosho, who is a hundred and something years. And she's on the bed since she broke her hip a few months ago. The first thing that I told my mother, allow less movement. Let's protect our old people. Because like I've said here in Italy, the many victims of coronavirus are um, um old people so help the government to help you now it's not the time even to complain and see you to say what bbi whatever do the little that you can do to protect yourself wash your hands properly um try not to go uh, out if uh, into public places if you there's no need stay indoors as much as possible if you can and uh, all these things that are going to help us to curb this situation now this problem is for everyone it's not just for uh, the government it's not just for one person so i pray for you my kenyan families i pray for you uh, africa and this thing we shall overcome don't start blaming the government don't start saying oh jesus do your part just take care of yourself Take care of your the people around you. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and all that good stuff.